Monday, March 14th, and our top news story. Well, after two years of COVID-19 restrictions, it all comes to an end today. As of today, all restrictions are lifted. This includes capacity limits, masking, and proof of vaccination requirements. The COVID-19 vaccine regulations, which require employees and service providers of certain businesses, facilities, and organizations to be fully vaccinated, will remain in place. In other news, Canada took home a total of 25 medals at this year's Paralympic Winter Games in Beijing. Canada won 8 gold medals, 6 silver medals, and 11 bronze. Team Canada played the United States in the Para, Para Ice Hockey Final on Sunday. Canada took the game by a score of 5-0. And finally, snow, rain, and very strong winds lashed the province over the weekend. There was heavy rain and strong winds across Newfoundland and blizzard conditions in parts of Labrador. Your weather forecast is coming up right after this. We were getting married in the most beautiful rural setting. My mom got sick and couldn't be with us for our big day. I was heartbroken. Thankfully, we discovered ExploreNet. They responded right away and connected us to high-speed internet. Our big day was incredible because it felt like mom was there. ExploreNet. Connect to what matters. After what was a very stormy weekend, we're finally seeing some improvement in the weather forecast for most areas. Uh, we'll start out with forecast overnight tonight in uh, St. John's. We are looking at some cloudy periods tonight and a low of minus 5. Gander tonight, tonight cloudy periods of minus 7. And uh, Cornerbrook will pick up about 3 to 7 centimeters of snow or some snow squalls. The forecast now for Labrador tomorrow, mostly sunny skies expected uh, for Nain. As we head south to Happy Valley Goose Bay, there is a chance of some flurries. And we are looking at a mix of sun and cloud across western Labrador. And then uh, for Newfoundland tomorrow, uh, we're going to hold on to strong winds still for the eastern half of the island. But for the western half, it's going to be uh, quite unsettled. We are looking at flurries or snow squalls continuing up the west coast and as we head toward Marystown and Gander some flurries tomorrow and some windy conditions at St. John's a chance of flurries and it will be windy. Uh, so for St. John's tomorrow we are looking at uh, a mix of sun and cloud with a chance of flurries high of plus two. Southwesterly uh, winds gusting to 60. And then on Wednesday mostly sunny and minus five. Thursday sun and cloud and plus two. And then for Gander tomorrow we are looking at uh, some flurries in the morning and uh, some windy conditions. The winds will be southwest gusting to 80. And then sun and cloud expected for Wednesday and for your Thursday. And then finally in Cornerbrook tomorrow, we are going to see some flurries with the risk of snow squalls. We'll see about 2 to 4 centimeters. And that could be a bit higher if we do get those snow squalls. Westerly winds gusting to 70. And then a chance of flurries Wednesday and for your Thursday. That is the latest news and weather forecast. And now you can check out newfoundnews.ca for more.